Hello everyone and welcome to this special showcase video taking a first look at the new fly-by-wire custom Autoland feature build of the Airbus A320 Neo. So today what I'm going to do is show you this wonderful feature which all of you in the flight simulator community have been crying out for and that is the capability of the A320 to perform an auto land and the hard-working team at fly-by-wire are close now to bringing that to us what I also need to tell you is that this version of the aircraft that you're seeing me flying now is not currently available at the time of filming so you can't download it please don't go and ask fly-by-wire why your auto landing isn't uh, available or why it's not uh, working for you um, I'm lucky enough to get a, a copy of this before it's released just to show you what the fly-by-wire team are working on so we've just departed uh, London Gatwick we're flying north and we're going to bring the aircraft in for an auto land on Heathrow's runway 27 right uh, I've made the weather pretty rubbish as you can see and I've also thrown in a crosswind just for good measure to really put the auto land feature through uh, through its paces and give it a good uh, give it a good test um, I have tried this out and I have seen it work and it's fantastic and I will be using this aircraft in my future streams so if you do want to see those please do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification uh, bell for uh, for those taking place so we're about 13 miles away as uh, as you can see from the bottom of the primary flight display so in a minute I'm just going to make a left hand turn and you'll be able to see uh, as start to intercept that localizer I've not gone through and uh, done everything 100% correctly by the book in terms of uh, setting the aircraft up for landing. My main uh, aim of this is purely to showcase for you the auto land feature that you're going to see in a, uh, in a couple of minutes. And watch how the aircraft brings itself in in these difficult conditions. So let's just start to spin this, uh, spin this around. When would we use the auto land feature to land? Well, obviously, the obvious answer to that would be when you can't see the runway that you're going to land on, just like the weather we've got here. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than that, and I do intend on doing a full tutorial in the future um, when this becomes available as to when you would actually use the um, auto land feature and when you cannot use the auto land feature because as well as the aircraft being um, capable of performing an auto land the runways at the airports have to also have the full uh, auto land system in place uh, but as I say more about that in, uh, in a future tutorial so I'm just going to uh, tell the aircraft to start that descent a little bit and uh, just because we're going to arrive at the glide slope perhaps sooner than we are the localizer. I want to give the aircraft a fighting chance. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the uh, approach phase, uh, approach mode, sorry. And you can see that, that we've got lock blue, glide slope blue with the descending uh, altitude and lock star is now clicked in. So the aircraft is now going to uh, make that left turn can also set flaps one and the important thing about performing the auto land is as you'll see in a moment I just let that aircraft line up so there you can see London Heathrow in front of us I'm now going to turn on autopilot 2 so we've got now both autopilot 1 and autopilot 2 and you'll see here on the primary flight display we've now got cat 3 dual enabled something that is new in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 that wasn't previously allowed but the fly-by-wire team of course have made that available so flaps 2 the other thing that you'll also notice is that the top of the FMA we've got a decision height of 0 so we would not have to see the runway at all obviously the clouds have cleared a little bit in this weather that I've just set up and we can see the runway as uh, as we're coming in but you would be able to land this aircraft in zero visibility which if you've uh, followed any of my live streams recently you'll see that I could really have done with an aircraft with this sort of capability as uh, it would have been useful okay so I'm just going to go and 
clear the ECAM with the landing checklist and if just passing six miles out we'll pop the landing gear down and we can also go flaps three on those spoilers and flaps full and as you can also see that crosswind is there still blowing at about 13 knots uh, with a couple of gusts as well. There are limitations to the autopilot feature so very quickly uh, we can't do uh, an auto land with a headwind of more than 30 knots um, a tailwind of 10 knots or a crosswind of 20 knots that's reduced to 15 knots if you only have a single engine for whatever reason so what we're looking for now is the various modes to be displayed on the FMA at the top here so at the moment we've got glide slope green lock lock green and we want these to change so by 40 feet uh, well no sorry before that we wanted to say land once it comes down to um, around 100 feet by 40 feet it should say flare so the aircraft now will self flare whereas in the past it would just career into the ground and then very important instead of pulling the thrust levers back to idle by 30 feet we're going to wait a little bit longer and by 10 feet the aircraft should be telling you to retard and uh, that is this time an instruction not a reminder if you're not performing an auto land normally if you hear retard you're too late in pulling those back but this time we're waiting for that retard call out for the aircraft to instruct us when to pull those back so you can see the aircraft now is fighting with that crosswind but what an amazing job that is doing look at the uh, glide slope and the pappies and on the rollout so there we've got land shown in a moment by 30 feet it should say flare and at retard there I go idle with the thrust and the aircraft has brought us in and you can see on the rollout it is still tracking that center line rolling around a bit in that wind but that's no problem so the rollout is now finished we need to take control of that and there we are one of the great things as well that I know many of you will be happy with is you can use the auto land feature to simply get a good view and land your aircraft outside the flight deck and enjoy the view as you bring your aircraft in or rather the new fly-by-wire autopilot brings it in again I must say and reiterate that at the time of filming this aircraft is not available for download either in the installer or on the fly-by-wire site so please do not contact them on their discord asking where you can get this version or when it will be available it will be available as soon as possible please give the video a like and leave a comment letting the fly-by-wire team know how amazing they are this is a great feature and a big step towards bringing the Airbus A320neo to a more realistic option in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all again very soon